Hey everyone, Evil Noodle here, and welcome back to our fifth installment of a one of the map walkabouts. Uh, this is Battlefield One. They shall not pass DLC. This is our second night map, and uh, I believe, and obviously correct me if I'm wrong. It's pronounced pre de terror. I don't know something like that. Pre de terror. I don't know. You know what I mean. It's it's there. Um, anyway, this is the new night map uh, on the They Shall Not Pass DLC, and uh, from the start, we are on the German side. It looks the, the scenery on the background looks pretty nice, to be fair. Searchlights um, got the AA guns going up. Bit of a battle in the skies. Looks kind of dandy, to be honest. I like it. I tell you what we could do. Let's take uh, gameplay. There we go. That's better. Although we may now get lost. Okay, so this is the new night map. Uh, it's the French forces against the German forces. Uh, the French are trying to hold off the Germans uh, from retaking the the village um, or the town uh, during the war has changed hands many times I think it was August 1917 that this took place and it changed hands over and over and over again um, but here we are uh, we started off on the German side and I believe it's very much like Amiens um with the sort of urban layout and the the busted out buildings and i like it this is the very first time i've seen it and it looks it looks stunning it really looks good i like the little searchlights about i wonder if they're okay now it does have I believe trench lines running all the way through, uh, all the way round. I do believe, like it would have done in real life, running through to the different villages and that. Um, and they have included tanks on this. This actually looks. There is a road that runs round all the way round. It doesn't finish at any point. I think it just goes round in a big circle. And in the middle there is a marketplace and you can have heavy tanks on this uh, surprisingly to be honest you're probably gonna get shot about quite a bit and not last very long so you have gotta be with your team work tactfully I guess um, maybe if you had a flame tank that would work quite well uh, but this looks nice this is very pretty now it's very close quarters this map but as you can tell already sniping especially down here might catch a few people out oh, I quite like the idea of having the martini down here whilst they're far away anyway so the whole point of this is to have a bit of a wonder if you don't have premium and um, although premium uh, trials is now active um, but if you don't want to just have a little look about see what the maps are like before you get stuck in yourself then just keep watching because uh, this is what I'm now doing I've not tried this map before not played any games on it this is our first look but I like it a lot of work's gone into this by the looks I wonder if, hmm So we've already made it into sort of the marketplace. Surrounded by barbed wire, there's trenches everywhere, which I like. Now, actually saying that, these building fronts, um, we obviously haven't got, oh, what's this? What have I got here? I didn't know I had this. Okay, 
interesting. I didn't even know I had this gun selected. Anyway, these building fronts, if you go back to say, it was mainly Battlefield 3, I think. Although, Bad Company 2, but Bad Battlefield 3, if you see a load of enemies down the bottom by the side of a building, and uh, you shot a rocket up, the debris that come down from the building would just absolutely annihilate who was ever at below it, you know. And it's the same on this. If you see a load of people below a building corner, just fire whatever you've got at it, some sort of explosive, the AT gun, and uh, let the building kill those people for you. So we're in the middle, a uh, nice little statue. That looks... What is that? A moose and a couple of dogs. Bit of a weird statue that. What is that? Is that, is that a moose? And some dogs. Okay, interesting. Uh, so this is the main courtyard. Got a few guns as well. I uh, don't think they are playable. Nope. It's all worn torn. Buildings are actually the buildings are quite intact around here for the time being. Anyway, now we come in from that direction. So let's have a wander about. I like the little lamps that are lit up. At least these little buildings here have, you know, a bit of clutter in them. They're not just empty with a few boxes here and there. Um, some of these buildings you can go in. Uh, with the blue doors I reckon we've got one down here another alleyway <clears throat> plenty of little alleyways, windows brick rubble to hide behind this is going to be good fun it's going to be a tough decision whether you want to go for the, the long range rifles or uh, there's the marketplace again or uh, the close range automatico would probably work quite well shotgun maybe but once you get into these alleyways you, you might not fare well uh, what have we got this way stairs some more stairs Plenty of hiding places. I like the little lamps everywhere. Do we get a shadow? No. It's very. Ah, oh, have... hang on. Did we start here? We did. Okay. <laughs> so we've unknowingly gone back to where we started. But I like the puddles, the brick rubble. It looks so real. You got the trenches running through the middle. It doesn't look a typically it doesn't look a big map on scale, but with all the hiding places and the alleyways and the buildings and the trenches, it's probably still gonna be pretty difficult. Um, you're not going to be bunched together all the time, that's for sure. I like the little posters about. Um, yep. Yeah. I'm not going to try and pronounce these. Interesting. Oh, what have we got here? Does anyone actually read this stuff? It's probably information there about upcoming titles and stuff, I don't know. Um, can we get through this way? Yes, we can. Guessing the marketplace is through this way. Yeah, so it's not a big, big map at all, actually. And we're back where we started. So I like all the oh, 
There's a plane up there. That looks pretty nice. That looks pretty dandy. I like that. Let's scoop that. Might have that as a screenshot. Um, lots of alleyways. We'll come back to here again. I'm actually rather excited about this. Balloon. I don't recall unlocking this gun. I don't think I've used it yet. Probably the bog stand. I just don't remember equipping it, that's all. Um, so here's more of the trench work. We've actually got one of these old style advertising uh, sort of billboards around where I live now. We've got a few of them actually. Um, they look kind of good. Got a bit of a tower here, sort of a demolished. I guess that was a part of the. Uh, that would have been part of the, the fort or a church or something. I guess it might have been like a lookout tower. Yeah, possibly. I guess the ah, uh, so the trench lines run down there. And threw into the next village, I guess. But that that looks really good. That is one of the better sort of background scenery that you that you've had in these maps, I think. Other than sort of never ending sea. Got a few burnt out tanks. Sort of a bit of an open out area along here. Uh, whether these areas get played in much, or I don't know. I'm not sure on the uh, flag locations at the moment. But that's probably about it. I do hope this has helped. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've looked about the map, and uh, I like the look of this one. I like these trenches. The trenches are nice. I like all the broken out buildings. It's not fully dark, but it's dark enough that you can still see what's going on. You get some maps that are just pitch black, and you. It's just not worth it. I'm just hoping that these maps don't just collapse straight away and like no one plays them, you know. I think it's just premium people that get this. Which, I don't know, it, it's so old, old hat now. It, 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 it swings around about if you have you have the premium service so you can make a bit of extra money or if you want more content pay a bit more yes but then people that don't pay the for the extra content obviously don't end up having it and then you lose that player base so I don't know uh, what the hell am I doing this must be a dead end I think it is well on that note of arriving at a dead end I think we've pretty much covered the map it looks oh, it just looks so nice this is a very pretty map indeed um, yes thank you so much for watching if you want to be a part of the evil noodle platoon you're more than welcome to do so just search it on the platoon uh, menu on Battlefield 1, you're more than welcome to be a part of it. Um, thank you so much for watching. Click that like button, share it about, you know what to do. Subscribe for more.
information on battlefields and well check out my playlists uh, I've got lots of other uh, let's plays going on at the moment uh, good times um, thank you ever so much for watching until the next one have a lovely time and we will catch you later goodbye